Good morning y'all, Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. Out here on Dolphin Island, Alabama. I've got Matt Swigs here with Salty Swigs. What's up y'all? Got a new fellow on the boat here. This is Dylan Keene. What's a going on? AKA Dr. Doormat. <laughs> and uh, we're not gonna go after Flounder today, even though they actually are open. We'll be going after them tomorrow. But we're going offshore today in the bay boat. And as you can see, it is super foggy out here. I would not recommend anyone going out offshore if you didn't have one of those right there. because it's yeah, a radar. It's basically like running in the dark. Everywhere you see a little blot like that, little spot, that's either some kind of structure or land. And so that right there is that crew boat coming towards us. Right there. And so we have very little visibility, but snapper season is open and trigger fish is open as well. So we're going to get on out there, see what we can make happen. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Let's get to fishing. All right, y'all, we're soaking wet, running through the fog, real misty. Just pulled up on this ship here. I tell you what, if you didn't have radar and I didn't know that was there, that would be a scary sight. Yeah. It's just still a, an eerie feeling coming up on this ship here, not being able to see anything around it. But Swigs here is hooking us up with a sabiki setup. We're gonna see if we can get some live bait. Always nice to go offshore with some live bait. Have it on hand. Boom. Uh, sardine. Oh yeah. Stringers, baby! <laughs> yeah. They're all over right here on that side too. That might be sardine, I don't know if that's one day. Come on, baby. Full stringer. Oh, maybe not. That no works. Uh, just pulled up to the first spot here. Ball's kinda of, kinda of cleared up. I've got a I've got a double trigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> Drop down a tr chicken rig. There are no monsters. <laughs> but look at that. Double go. trigger. Actually, one of them might be cute. Oh, That's right. close. There we go. Double trigger on the chicken rig. It's weird. Yeah. We're going to get the camera set up. Drop back down and see if we can get some bigger ones. Y'all, yeah, we took a break from the chicken rig for a second. Just playing around with some snapper right now. We got to triple up. They're not huge by no means. <laughs> It really is Especially on this. Oh, uh, mine got off. 15, no, he didn't. 15 pound break. He's still on. On the Johnny Jigs. I mean, these are definitely legal snapper. The ones we're catching, they only have to be 16 inches. We have absolutely beautiful calm conditions out here. We're sitting at about 40 miles right now. Just kind of spot hopping, checking some different locations. That's north right there, and that's where that big fog cloud is. I'm sure it's still low visibility by the, around the island. Nice and sunny out here though. I didn't think I was gonna need my sunglasses today. So right now we're on a pyramid. It's a private pyramid, about 116 foot of water. <clears throat> we're just dropping some lightweight jigs here. See what we can pick up. So we are going down to the bottom. Actually, I might not make it to the bottom. Let's let's try it about halfway. Oh, and he's on. Halfway. That's a little bit better fish. All right. Probably a jack. This is on the 6.6 black goofish rod here. Some tough rods, y'all. I've yet to break one, and I've been using them for a little over a year now. I mean, you put some serious bow. That's a little bit better one. On the jig. Look, we'll throw him in the box. These nice handy-dandy sword pliers here. 
I am. We gotta put like gotta put some meat in the box. And Dylan's on. And I'll cut him in a second. Alright. Yeah, we're still marking good. Just a up down, lift that jig up, let it fall down. And we're on. We had slack in the line. <laughs> it's awesome, ain't it? You, you see that slack in the line? And you just know there's a fish there. Yeah, throw them in there. Look, I ain't I ain't that person that's gotta come home with fit like sows every tri every trip. I honestly I know a lot of people say it, but that's that's what I enjoy the, the best. Oh yeah, for sure. Another one about the same size. Oh, if I can get him in the boat, get in there. That's right. We'll at least put four in the box. That yeah, way, if we get two yeah, big I'm ones. Catch another one that size and then get the bigs. Fish on? on. Yo, it's just every drop. We're just getting whacked right now. A yeah. little bit better one. It's just good stuff here. No bait. Just dropping some jigs. Just hit bottom. Just waiting on a gag grouper to just come up and whack it. Uh -huh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he pulled it. Dang. Yeah, I like to, you know, just play with them a little bit. Entertain the people. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we have moved spots again. We're sitting over top of some artificial pyramids. Right now, I've just got a bunch of old bait and stuff, shrimp, pogies. Just throwing this in the water. I'm trying to get these fish chummed up to the top. Dealing the swigs, dropping the jigs down, and he's hooked up. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Not as big as that last one. I no. There he is. Oh, that's oh double baby. <laughs> one of those has got to be a jack. If not, there's some good snapper, decent size. Oh, you got two of them. No way. You got a double. You doubled up? Yeah, I did. Look at that. <laughs> oh, is that Almaco's? One is. One's a jack. That's a jack. <laughs> oh, Look at that, y'all. Double Almaco's? That's bomb. Oh, get in here. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Let me take my picture. <laughs> uh, I got you. I got you. Someone take my picture. I got you. <laughs> there you go. Hold them up by the handlebars. Handlebars, baby. Box them. Yeah, you want to keep these? these yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to keep them. <laughs> these are probably some of the tastiest things out here. They really are. My favorite, bro. Swigs up here. Oh, what happened to your eyeball thingy, Majig? That's what it does. Oh, okay. It's like a Carolina rig. So this right here is an Almaco Jack, right here, related to the Amber Jack. There you go, y'all. Oh. If, if I'm not mistaken, there's not a size limit there's no size limit but and there's not a krill limit a right refish re so 20 yep. fish aggregate right okay so we can keep up to 20. Lipping. dylan with the double almaco ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool boom oh, yeah. yeah yeah buddy the, that's definitely a jack be the right one that's a jack. Dylan, yeah you got him good I ain't mad about catching a few of them things. They will not break anything off. I'm dropping mine down. <laughs> You're influencing me here. Jackie Poo. Dude, that, that jig is on some jack right now. I'm glad I didn't take it off earlier. The banana jig works. It is one of my more productive Boom! Jigs. I don't think it really matters, Swigs. <laughs> they just don't want the eyeball. Right. Oh, well, they want the eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> they are on these jigs. That was the first drop. Coming on up. Another one. Another <laughs> one. He's on. <laughs> Dude, five seconds. Five seconds. 
Yeet! Yeet perfect Almaco's in the world. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, pretty looking fish too. This is definitely one of those scenarios where the uh, the jigs is doing better than dead bait. These jack species love shiny things, something moving fast in the water. It's just hard to beat jigs. Oh, oh, okay. There's a jack. He's not that big. He's not that big. Boom. Look, Flipper, you're not getting this one. I'm sorry. No. Top predator or something? Can't you hunt for yourself? Decent bite. There he is. That's that sugar fish. You got him? Oh my gosh. Oh my know. gosh. I don't know. Ooh, bud. That's you not a trigger. Bite. Tell me that's a trigger. Dude, it might be. If it is. There's some of the hardest fighting fish I've ever. Oh my gosh. I Tell me that's a trigger, Brandon. This trigger is still alive, by the way. Dude, it is. Are you recording? I am. Grab that gaff. This Grab is a trigger gaff. fish. This is a hoss. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> they like swim in circles, and they yep. they are literally one of the hardest fighting fish, in my opinion. Yeah, for their size. Just because sure. of the way they swim, they get Quirk sideways. It's tough to ever pull them up. I Stick guarantee right you this is a 23 inch. 100%. Put that, on, put that piece of squid on. Are you on the chicken rig? Oh, yeah. Chicken rig, baby. Come on, baby. Is that squid or shrimp? I had a, a shrimp on the top hook, I think, and a squid on the bottom. Pretty sick, yeah. He's done gotten light now. Definitely trigger fish there. There he is. Look Slap, bro! <laughs> oh my gosh, brother! Oh my god! Look at god. that. <laughs> seen trigger fish <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one that big oh that's a good one to the fork now we measure these fish in Alabama and that is a 22 inch trigger fish right there Woo! probably seven and a half eight pounds holy crap it's gonna eat good you know we can only keep one per person here in Alabama so you got to make it count He's already bled out. We're gonna throw him in the box. But <laughs> look, look at Dylan. He's like, let me drop down. I put a little squid on the catchy. Get catchy. the catchy, catchy out there. <laughs> Yo, that was that was a hoss of a trigger fish. It's been a and he's on. That's a trigger fish, ain't it? Oh yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Oh my gosh! Oh my look at it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Drag, yeah, man. he is. You better don't let don't let him get in that structure. I don't even know how these reels work. Oh. There it is. Using the old slow this pitch is, this rod. This is a lot simpler than the other fancy piece of machinery. That oh, that's a trigger. Take it nice and slow. It Long better not. If it's bigger than mine, I'm cutting the line. Okay? <laughs> I can't let you beat me. You just leave oh, me out here. Give me the e perb and leave me. See him? Yeah! Look at him circling. Nice! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, on the eye drop! On the eye drop! I catchy. knew that thing Hold would work up. for a trigger. Uh, hold on, let's... Uh, that, close to 10 pounds. That's a full grown true fish <laughs> on the eye drop jig. Dude. Look at that. Look at the slabs on that. Stinking hoss. That is a true trash can lid right there. On the slow pitch setup. Yep. On the eye drop. Swigs over here. Are they on bottom? Dead gum electric reel in 120 yeah, foot of water. A little bit off bottom. Here, come get a measurement on them. Alright. What's the moment of truth going to say? 
At least 23, at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's it. Just a, a little over 23. Yeah, we'll have to wait that when we get to the house. That's, that's a, at least eight and a half pounds. Go. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh. On? You ain't got bottom? Nope. On a jig? Yep. Alright, we're gonna swap this over to low gear. Uh oh. He's raking you over there, Sweeks. It's like gear, bro. <laughs> it's real like gear. <laughs> Alright. We got them coming up, y'all. Oh. We got them coming up now. 210 foot of water. Directly on bottom. Live bait. Alright. I think this was a live cigar minnow. Alright. It's not the quarter shell. It's the wiggle shell. Oh, it's a big snapper. Get the gas. Get the gas. Dylon, it's under. Oh, gosh. I'm confined here. Yeah. I got a fish on. Big snapper, huh? Oh, I got this. <laughs> oh, it's a sow. <laughs> hey. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing, y'all. I don't have that, I can tell you that Ooh. right now. Y'all look at that. <laughs> Alright, Twigs, you're... Uh, is that, is right that might have to go on. with the two times strong. Is that one going 20? Nah, maybe 17, 18 okay. pounds. A little elm that's what we that's came here for, y'all. Nice, nice sow red snapper right there. And that's why we only kept six to start the day with, because we had a feeling we might catch one of these big ones here. Swigs also has a nice Almaco. Dylan's hooked up back here. Dylan's hooked Hooking up, up. <laughs> on the electric, baby. <laughs> Hooking up on the electric hey, setup. <laughs> he's cheating over here, 200 foot of water. He thinks just because he catches a bigger trigger fish than me, he can <laughs> go to electric. On the chicken, room, we do have a serious mess in the boat right now. Yeah, That's all right. Because we're, we're loading the boat up with some meat right now. Strong, caught a lot of big fish. Oh, it's on a it. sow. No, it ain't. Is it? Oh, it's a big group. All right, I got it. It's a big group. It's a giant gas. Oh, oh, it's a gas. It's a giant gas. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Swigs just caught a massive gag grouper. We thought it was a sow snapper. Y'all check this out. Thank you. <laughs> what y'all know about jigs, that? Baby. That's a 40 pounder. 100%. Yeah, hold right him there. out. Get him, get him under the belly again and hold him out towards me. If you Congrats, can. Swigs. We're getting ready to wrap up the day here. Could not ask for a better way to end the day. <laughs> We're about wore out. We'll see y'all at the house. All right, y'all, it is the next afternoon. We're back at the house. We actually just got back from probably the worst inshore fishing trip we've had in, in months. So that, that goes to show that just because uh, you see us catching a lot of fish on YouTube doesn't mean it's like that every time. But here's the wheelbarrow from yesterday. Nice little mixed bag, snapper, Amico Jacks, stud trigger fish that <laughs> Swigs did not catch, but he's holding it. But he did catch he this nice, kind of yeah, nice little gag grouper right here. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be nice enough to uh, let us maybe get a, a chunk. Yeah, a portion off of it. Yeah, we might be able to get a portion of this grouper yeah. here. I'll get a little video of us filleting this fish, and then uh, we're going to take it inside, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat grouper. Don't mess it up. Roger. 
What kind of knife are you using there? The sword knife. Sword fillet <clears throat> knife right there. Y'all should definitely go check them out if you haven't already. Link down in the description. Look who showed up, Mr. De Leon. What's going on? Dr. D. Brother. Came to see uh, the spoils of our trip. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's it. So this is my fillet, right? Ooh, yeah, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. This is the captain's cut. Try it. Yeah. So on these big grouper, they have some cheek meat right here. And Swig is fixing to show y'all how you can get the meat out of these grouper real easy. Yep. And so you start right um, on this first uh, plate here. Stick them right behind the eye and kind of follow it around. You want your knife at like a 30 degree angle going in. You'll kind of feel it rubbing on the uh, cheek bone itself you make that angled cut you're trying to get like a little patty out of here so then once you get it cut down to the jaw into the eye you can kind of start working it off oh of yes that bone like that look at that oh grouper patty and then once you bring it down and around when we get to the end here you want to cut in but not all the way through, right till you get down to the skin, like that. Yeah, just rip it off. And then you can rip it right off. Look at that. that Look at that. That is a satisfying noise, right? <laughs> it there. is. Yeah. That's Beautiful. A nice. That's a chunk. 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 Right That's right. Grouper filet mignon. That and the collar are I can have the best parts. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I tried. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're in the kitchen now. We've got Chef Tanner here, super good cook. I'm gonna uh, get him to whip us up a dish. We've also got Dylan here joining us for this meal. So we're gonna do something pretty cool. We have our gag grouper filet right here that Swigs was nice enough to let us keep. We've got two small trigger fish filets and then a snapper filet. So we're gonna cook these up with some butter and just a little bit of light Everglades fish and chicken season in there and then what else are you going to be accompanying the fish with? We're just going to make some noodles, a little Alfredo, and put the fish on top. Got a little bed of something. Okay, a little, something yummy. A little bed of something. So we're fixing to get some of this fish cooking, and then we're going to do a little blind taste test and see if we can see the difference between grouper, snapper, and trigger fish. Just a little cool. Yeah. So it's time to start cooking up some of this fish here. Tanner's got a, that's the grouper filet. That's the grouper. Yeah. Simple cooking here, just butter. And I think you squirted a little bit of this lemon in there. Yep. Some fish and chicken Everglades seasoning. Probably cook it for three minutes, three, four minutes on each side. Minimal. As soon as yeah. I think it's done, it's coming on. And then he's got some kind of concoction over here. What we got working in this pot? Got a little Alfredo sauce with some spinach and some tomatoes. A little bit of spice in there. Some lemons, yeah. onions, garlic. That's right. It'll be good. That's right. So we're going to get this fish cooked. Put it on the plate, pour that on top. All right, y'all, here's the fish. Got to do a surprise taste test here. They don't know what's what. I do. Seriously, I don't. I'm we have no idea. They look very similar. I can't even Cut tell. all the pieces to where it was going to be hard to tell what was what, so I'm interested to see what y'all think. So are they all the same in line, his and mine? That's right. Yep. Okay. Where are you gonna Do you know what's what? Oh yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so you know. Yeah, you guys start on the end. Right? Start on the end. That's the same piece. Yeah. All right. First fish going down here. I'm taking the whole thing. I think I know what that is. Are we saying out loud? Yeah, y'all tell me. Are we gonna? Let's save it for the end now. Let's taste test all three. Okay. I'll probably forget. I don't know what you ate. Oh, I know what this one is. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> I think. Dang. I'm going to get all these wrong. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Okay, all right. Ooh. Falling apart. All right, 
I don't gotta know what everything is. All right. I don't. <laughs> what was the first fish? I think it's the grouper. I'm gonna say the first fish was snapper, middle was grouper, third was trigger fish. What do you think the middle was? I think grouper, middle was snapper, left was definitely trigger. Okay. Brandon got it right. Did I really? Yeah. All right. Snapper, Woo! and then the trigger. I knew as soon as that middle fillet hit my tongue, that oh, was yeah. grouper. One hundred percent. I mean, you knew when you stabbed it. I got messed up. Oh yeah. I made my, I made my decision too early on the first one. I was yep. like, that's got to be grouper. It was. But, the second one, I said, like, well, that one has to be snapper. Yeah. The trigger. <clears throat> trigger fish is so obvious. The trigger fish was very distinct. The the snapper and the grouper were very similar, but the grouper just had so much more of a, a sweeter taste to it. And I knew as soon as I stabbed it with my fork that it was it was the one. one. So. Tanner, get get right. your well. No, we got, we got to get him set up here. So we're gonna make Tanner do the same thing and see if he gets it right. Well, it's Tanner's turn. We got the same deal here. Three different types of fish. We know what they are. He doesn't. So right. let's see if he gets it right. All right. Are you gonna go as you eat? I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> it's really, y'all, it's really just the two that are kind of somewhat hard to distinguish. That's close to the first one. Yeah. That's very close. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe it was a, this was a big snapper. Can you believe I got it right? I can't believe a snapper. <laughs> this, is a, this is a 16, 17 pound snapper. Yeah. So the first one was the grouper. The second one was the uh, trigger. And the third one was the snapper. Wrong. That was a grouper. Are you serious? Yeah. I think the snapper tasted better. No, you don't. I do. I Get out of here. Dang, I know. I got it wrong. I'm ashamed. I thought it was a grouper. It was like the prime time. I guarantee you if that was scant grouper, I'd have known it, it would have been instant. But the gag, I think, the, especially since it was a bigger fish, it, the meat was probably a little more tough. The it texture, wasn't as soft, you know, as... You know how that snapper flakes apart, like kind of in big flakes. I felt like the mm -hmm. texture was real similar. Yeah, she, to we was over here yeah, trying I mean, to figure big, out. Thick snapper, it was very tender. Well, there you go, y'all. That was a nice little blind taste test of three different offshore species. We're fixing to get these plates set up, how we're gonna eat, and show y'all what it looks like. So this is the final product here. This is Tanner's specialty. What is it? Alfredo. Alfredo. We've we got all kinds of goodies in here. Yummies. We've got some grouper. We've got some snapper. Dylan's over here just mm. going to town, son. What you think? I think it's really good. Yeah? Wherever Tanner caught this free range Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> some well. good stuff. <laughs> the trigger fish and the grouper yeah. and the snapper. Nice, yeah, yeah. nice little excited. meal. All right, y'all, it's been fun. We're gonna go ahead and get to eating some of this food right here. If y'all enjoyed the video, or if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Y'all go check out Tanner, Dylan on Instagram. I'll have them linked down in the description below. Until next time, we'll see you back out in the water.